Chapter 10, Lesson 8, Good Morning. Sorry, it's on page 462 and 463. We've gotten to the Chapter 10 Mixture Problems. And they're not really so complicated as long as we go slow and we use the tables as they do in this lesson. I don't always use the tables, um, but the tables are a good framework to be working within. Problem number one, you notice I didn't write this one down. The technician has one solution that is 60% chlorinated and another that is 40% chlorinated. So we got some stuff that's 60%. We have some stuff that's 40%. How much of the solution of each is going to be needed to make a batch that has a 50% solution and it contains 100 uh, liters? So we're going to have to add some stuff here, I guess, huh? And let's call um, X the amount of the 60% stuff. And 100 minus x is the amount of the 40% um, solution. Because we end up with 100 liters of this stuff all total. So let's just do this again. x is going to be the number of liters of the 60%. And to that, we're going to add 100 minus x times the 40%. And when we add this stuff up together, we're going to end up with a solution that is 50% in strength and it has 100 liters in total amount. So we can work through this as 0.6x plus 40 minus 0.40x. That turns out to be 50. All I did was dis distribute, not distribute, I just did multiplying, sorry. We can combine like terms. We end up with 0.2x plus 40 is equal to 50. So then 0.2x turns out to be 10, or x turns out to be 50. So we need 50 liters of each one to make a solution of 50% strength. And if you look back at the problem, it's pretty simple. The solution is 60%, the other solution is 40%, and we want to dilute it to make it 50%. So that means in order for it to be diluted halfway, we need to have the same amount of each. So if we had 100 liters all total when we're finished, then obviously we need half of that for each of the two solutions. Number one, kind of simple. Let's try number nine. Number nine talks about some folks who voted, and we're going to call these folks who voted from uh, Southern Maywood X. So X stands for the number of voters, the people who voted from Southern Maywood. And it also tells us in the problem that we're 5,900 people total. So I guess 5,900 people minus X would be the people from North Maywood. And I got that because there were 5,900 people all total. And uh, X was the number of people from South Maywood. Now the problem is confusing because they throw in Northern Maywood voted 60% to 40% and Southern Maywood voted 90 to 10% against. So you just got to keep track of which ones we should be using. So we're going to be using the 60% and the 10% because those both voted in favor of the project. So we had 10% of the people from Southern Maywood plus 60% of the people from Northern Maywood. And when we were all done, we ended up with a population of people who were 55% who voted for it. And that was of the population 5,900. 
Let's go through that again. The problem is confusing. Southern Maywood voted 90% to 10% against the project, which means 10% voted for it. Northern Maywood voted 60% to 40% in favor. So 60% of those people voted in favor. These are people who voted in favor. 10% of Southern Maywood and 60% of Northern Maywood. So now it's a simple problem. It becomes 0.1x plus 3540 minus 0.6x is equal to 3245. Hope I have enough room. Or 0.5x with a negative turns out to be equal to 3245 minus 3540, which is negative 295. So this tells us if we divide both sides by negative 0.5, we end up with x being equal to the people from southern Maywood and that turns out to be with a calculator 590 people. So we had 590 people from southern Maywood and if they were to ask you a different question about how many people from northern Maywood well then you could do the subtraction from 5,900. So there's problem one, there's problem number nine. We'll see you all tomorrow.